What's up, Simmers? It's Deli here from my belly. Welcome to the next part of building a home for a family on a budget. Fixer upper, ugly the beauty challenge, renovation, whatever you want to call it is whatever. I don't care. The fact is, you and me, we're sitting down, we're playing Sims today. I don't know why I'm so sassy. Let's just get started and get into it. Also, some of you guys were saying I made a comment about our twins, which are a boy and a girl, that they were like identical. What I meant is obviously a girl and boy twin can't be identical, but they can be like identical in terms of looking almost exactly the same. That's what I meant by that. I also used uh, the weather machine to turn off the rain because that rain was just driving me nutballs. And I'm still really frustrated that in The Sims, we don't actually have the ability to change weather in build and buy mode. That would be really helpful. But anyway, this is our house. I did actually add a couple of things since the last part. I did put this cat's and dogs fencing in. I thought that it just looked really nice and was a nice contrast to the picket fencing, which I thought was a little harsh, perhaps. I'm also thinking if we jump into it, that I do want to put a little gatey in because who doesn't love a, oh no, BB dot move objects. I need to put a little gatey in and I just really want this to be as family friendly as possible. Like I often don't spend enough time on family inspired homes in The Sims 4. I always make them like cold and modern and maybe it's because I don't have a family myself. I don't need to have a family right now. Oh gosh. Okay. Now I'm stressing. Should I like, should I freeze my eggs or something? If I freeze my eggs, can I just put them in my fridge? And if you freeze your eggs, cause it's apparently really expensive. Do they like have multiple places where they store them? Cause surely if they stored your frozen eggs in just one place, what happens if that place burnt down? Like they can't insure my eggs. I guess they could like just give me someone else's eggs and be like, yeah, sure. That's your egg. Like, do you reckon some people go to work that day and they're like, Ugh, I can't be bothered finding these eggs for this person. Why we just give them this egg. Why are we even speaking about this right now? I don't even know. I'm just stressing about being a young woman. <laughs> I'm still PMSing. I've been PMSing for like two weeks now. It's so annoying. So I've also uh, extended this roof out a little bit because um, I thought it would be nice to have a little undercover area, you know? And uh, yeah, I did a little bit more terrain painting just to make it look a little bit more legit. And I also decided that our back wall, which if you guys re recall, it was like a gray uh, weatherboard and it, you guys were like, there's too much going on. So I actually decided to make it darker gray. I got rid of some of the white because the white was a little bit too white, a lot of you guys were saying. And I also got this little pegboard to put all of these postcards that were in the abandoned house. Um, we put those there. One of the biggest and most popular feedback or comments we were getting in the last part was that we need a door to go to the backyard. And I don't even know why I didn't see that in the first place. Uh, obviously, if we have a young family. <laughs> need to freeze my eggs. We want to we wanna be able to enjoy the, the great outdoors. We want our kids to go eat some worms so they can grow up to be super healthy with good immune systems. So that's what we're going to do. I also never know which way this is meant to go. It's kind of like an innie or an outie belly button. Is it okay to have an innie or an outie or does it have to be one way or the other? My guess is that it's meant to face inwards like this, but who knows? I might be wrong. Also, we have a little bit of greenery on here. Uh, I don't think we really want that in the in the room. Okay, so we are ready to get into this. I also changed the fridge to black because you guys were like, You said you were getting a fun fridge and you got the most boring color ever. Well, guess what, people? I got black for you and I know that that's not a color, but I feel like it is more exciting than making everything white in the build. Now, this is the hard part. This is where we actually decide the look and feel of the house. Now, usually, I like to go super duper, clean cut, very, uh, very modern. I don't really go with many traditional items and builds, but I feel like maybe it's time to change that. Maybe we actually go with some parenthood type items, you know, maybe even the cats and dogs couch. Ooh, ooh, oh, well, there's this, this is really like real family friendly. You know, you guys know what I want to do. I want to go for this gray color because it just works so seamlessly. But I feel like you may roll your eyes at that. But then again, should I care about that? Do I just do what I want to do? This is the hard thing about being a YouTuber. How much of yourself do you lose to make your audience happy? Nothing. So I'm just going to do what I want to do, okay? <laughs> we will brighten it up with some chairs though. Oh my gosh, we could have like little, like a cute little feet 
nature chair for the toddlers. We could even have a toddler friendly rug. You know, who says we can't have a kid rug in the lounge room? You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't we have this giant, beautiful hamster or a ladybug or a frog? Although I feel like I don't really want that in my main room. These items from Strangerville are quite cool. And we also have our rug. Ooh, now that's cute. That's got some llamas on it and it's red, which is quite different. I put our other rug over here. I don't even know if we want to use it. Uh, I know it's just hard. We could go the rustic vibe, but I feel like I want to go the bright family vibe. I want it to be a little bit, you know, rustic slash exciting for the kids to grow up in. What about yellow? Now that is, that that is something, that is a moment. Do we want to do the yellow? I feel like so many of you guys are screaming at the screen being like, no, please don't tell me. But it's definitely different to what we've ever done before. The problem is I've got a real soft spot for yellow and gray put together. For those of you guys who've been watching my channel for a very long time, you already know this. I love yellows and grays. I think they are goals. This is actually really, really sweet. I quite like that one. That one's from Parenthood. What? Why do I never use these swatches? It's like I didn't even know they existed in my game. I love it when you're playing Sims and you just realize all of these discoveries that you never thought would be possible and you're just like, wow. You know what I'm also actually thinking is why don't we have a fireplace over here? We could have one of these awesome parenthood fireplaces. You know, we could even do the color to match the kitchen to kind of tie that in a little bit, which would be cute. And then over here next to it, we could put some kind of other items such as these boxes. And this could actually be where the TV is. Maybe this family isn't that into technology. Maybe they, maybe they don't need to have a huge, enormous flat screen TV for everyone to see. Does everyone need that flex in their life? I don't think so. Let's not be technological for once, <laughs> says a YouTuber who literally spends every single day uh, filming and playing games. So we have our little pile of cushions, which look really, really sweet when toddlers like to sit up on them. And I'm thinking for our armchair, it would be great to get something with this little bit of wood tone in it. Obviously not this, because it's a little bit too modern looking, but that would be cool. Otherwise we've got these little like kitty chairs, which are kind of cute. Uh, that's a potential option. We've got these chairs, which are quite iconic. There's my yellow. Oh, I really want to use this yellow chair. Eee, I know, I know half of you guys can't handle the yellow, but just work with me here, okay? I feel like we could have have something beautiful in this little gameplay that we're doing, you know? Together we can make it work. If that went back over there, I know I'm changing the rugs so much. It's it's tricky, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Now in terms of paintings, uh, now we do have several paintings already in the house that we could most certainly utilize uh, that are quite nice. I mean, we've got the worldly map up here, which I don't mind because it kind of ties into the color of this fireplace. Alternatively, we could go for the fireplace with the nice blues in it. Um, that also works quite well. I mean, personally, I like both of them. I think they both look pretty cool. We also have this painting over here, which will also tie in because it has that kind of creamy aged paper look on it which is cute and maybe some sconces on either side would make it look all right. Whenever I say sconce, I always think of scones and then I immediately become kind of hungry because it's like scones. I think some of you guys call them scones, but in Australia we pronounce it scones. <gasps> Love this, more yellow, but no, I'm going to refrain from that. We just need something kind of affordable. I mean, this is okay. This is definitely with the shutter chic theme if we size it down a little bit. Damn it, I really, really want a scone now. <laughs> okay, do we like this? I don't know. Screw it, I don't like these. I think they look bad. I'm gonna say it, cause we all know we're all thinking the same thing right now, aren't we? A beautiful plain white shelf. I love a plain white shelf. I want a plain white shelf. You want a plain white shelf. You wanna want a plain white shelf. Plain white shelf. I want a plain white shelf. I'm gonna put some candles on there because that looks pretty sweet. Uh, very sweet indeed. And do we want a candle up here? Like just like a little tea light? Kind of looks a bit odd because there's so much candle action going on. It might be a little bit much. I think it's a perfect place for a little planty to sit there. Okay, I think this is looking real swell. We could put this kind of behind 
behind the chair or maybe get a trestle table version to make it more rustic. And this is where you could kind of put a coffee away from the kid's little hands, uh, trying to get the coffee down. We kind of put that there. Kind of also love the idea of having a pot plant, which probably kids are gonna try and knock over, but it's it'll be fine. I totally forgot we had a budget for a good 15 minutes just then. <laughs> I totally forgot we were trying to live on a budget here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this as is right now. Ooh, we could put like this, these old vintage pieces that were already in the house, like over like this. That's kind of cool and the, the little parcel. I mean, it's different. What other colors does this tram come in? Oh, the green or the blue. I mean, the blue's nice. Should we put a trap door, uh, like a little doggy door, right where the kids go into their room? My sister and I actually, fun fact, my dad put a little trap door for us. Trap door, don't worry, we weren't like trapped in the house. Between our bedrooms, so we could like crawl in and out. I wish the toddlers would crawl through this door actually, that would be cute. Even though they can't, let's just put it there because it's a cute idea. And then over here is going to be our dining table. So let's get our dining table in here. The question is, do we want to do like a round dining table moment or a square? Do we want our kids to be able to sit at the dining table with us? Or do we want it to be more like the kids sit in their high chairs separately? There's so many things to consider when it comes to building a house. I can't imagine what it's like in the real world building your own house. So shout out to any of you guys in the process of moving or in the process of deciding what to do. It's a stressful time for everyone. Ooh, incense. I love incense. I actually burnt some incense earlier on. Plain white shelf. I want to get a plain white shelf. I like the idea of having, um, a rounded kitchen table here, but it definitely doesn't work with that rug. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, have you seen your rug lately? We could get rid of this one. And then of course, if we're gonna put that there, then we're gonna have to turn down the couch a little bit, which I was really getting excited about the fact that we had a yellow chair, but you know, boys and girls, sometimes you just gotta do the right thing and get rid of what you always wanted to have <laughs> in order to be a better person. So if we're going to put that there, I do like the idea of a rounded table because I, I feel like I haven't used rounded tables enough in The Sims 4. I feel like they've been here for a while and I've barely used them. So I kind of like that idea. I kind of hate the idea of having the same colored chairs as the rug beneath them. In any case, what we do need to do is actually put a couple of high chairs here. Would you wanna have the kids, oops, would you wanna have the kids sitting at opposite sides of the table or would you want the twins to have their high chairs next to each other? I don't really know if they need to be separated or seated together. I don't have kids. So. And then which high chairs we wanna have? Oh my gosh, we only have 28,000 smalls. Is this gonna be a case of the house never gets finished because I spent all of our money on things we really don't need? <laughs> Is that weird? It's like the kids are at the two heads of the table. It's like, what? How weird would that be if you had like a really long table and you sat to your toddlers at either end? The other thing is, wouldn't they just have the same colored kids tables just to keep things, you know, neutral and easy? Because they were probably bought at the same time if you had twins. I know you guys, I'm too old for this stress. Let's put these plates over there. Do we want to do the yellowy kind of vibe? Because we have a few yellows to tie in. All right, I mean, I think this works. I think it's cute. Is this rug too big? Potentially, yes, but otherwise we're gonna have to do some weird like rug organization under the table, which we could do, but this is definitely costing a lot more money than I was hoping to spend. But we could do a little bit of this, which it's just kind of cute. All right, then we have our desk moment over here. I'm deliberately not going to get a, a computer because I don't know if we have money in the budget. The other thing is, if the parents were wanting to use a computer, wouldn't they wanna have it in this room? I'm also gonna get rid of this globe for a bit of extra money. I'm actually thinking that we put a nice bookshelf over here because I feel like every house needs a bookshelf, especially if you have kitties. Oh, I love this bookshelf. This came from a base game update recently. It's like one of my new favorite items. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm so about this bookshelf. Who knew a bookshelf could make a person so happy? Well, guess what? Does it make you happy? Cause that's all I wanna do with my life is make you feel loved. 
plain white shelf. I want to get a plain white shelf, plain white shelf. That's all I need today. Okay, cool. We've got our plain white shelf. <gasps> the red chairs, beautiful. I love it. It's so unnecessary. Okay, we're just gonna have one red chair because I have issues. Uh, I don't know what to put on this wall. Like this is another issue of maybe we need sconces or something on this wall. Alternatively, we could go with some wood cladding on the wall. But I think if I start doing that, the place is gonna start getting really, really busy. Cause I'll show you guys what it would look like. It would look something like this. Which you know what, that does look kind of cool. I'm not mad about it. Cause it kind of looks like the house was originally smaller and then they've added this living room onto it. And we could put like a little, I don't know, a little something something on the wall over here. You know how kids make crafts at their little craft table? You could totally like hang little crafts over this or like the little flowers. It's so cute, you guys. Oh, this is so unnecessary. I'm just gonna size it down and it could be like the kid's little hidey hole, so sweet. Okay, moving on. We've got the lounge room. We've got all of this happening. The, there is something that's missing and that is where are the kids' toys in the lounge room? Like, do the kids not have toys over here? I think their little toy chest could just go right over here. We also have this basket situation, which is looking a little strange. We have our little, uh, not a shoe rack, little hat rack, which also is looking a little janky. And I think this comes in some fun colorways. I mean, the blue's quite nice. Oh, that's kind of bougie in that colorway. Good grief. <gasps> and it goes with the chair perfectly, which you know I love. Look at that color coordination. Hell yeah, we could even put it there. No, we can't put it there. Don't kid yourself. We could put it over here. Hmm, the placement of things is very, very difficult. Is this shelf too much here? I think I got a little bit carried away with that shelf, but we can put it here, like your entrance shelf. You know, this is just where you put all of your things. My friend Emma actually has an entrance shelf in her house where she just has like a little shelf. It's really sweet. She also has, I think, a mirror on the wall or a picture. Could be making that up, but it would be nice to have like a little mirror here so you can just, you know, check yourself <laughs> before you go out the door. Everyone needs to check themselves before they head out the door, right? It's just like something you gotta do with your life. See, we can move the shelf up so it looks like you are checking yourself. <gasps> and we can make a baby plant! A little baby. Oh, look at the baby plant. It's so beautiful. Look at this! Look at this little entrance shelf area. Check yourself before you head out the door. And then you're gonna look so pretty. There we go. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And you know what else? You know what else I think would look really, really good here that I never put in my in my builds? That is a welcome, oh. Oh, that's upsetting. It goes underneath all the stones. You know what, let's just go like a more plain color. So then you can wipe your feet before you go in. This is beautiful. This is looking really good. Okay, so we've done basically the whole living area. We've got our mismatched chairs. I mean, it definitely looks a little interesting. It's definitely a little bit different, but I like it a lot. And we've got our little outdoor patio area. And then now we've just got to, maybe we should quickly do a bathroom. Now we have this sink here, which I love. This has been freshly renovated. So we do have some new tiles, which is very nice. I think we're just going to go for a cheaper toilet because we are getting to crunch now, pe crunch time people. Uh, also, because we have toddlers, I'm pretty sure we, uh-oh. Oh no, how do the toddlers shower? We're going to need a bathtub, but the bathtub doesn't fit because there's not enough room for a bathtub. <gasps> Okay, let's think about this, people. Uh, let's get this bathtub, because it's a little cheaper. We can just go for this, but what are we gonna do? Because usually I would kind of go like this and, oh no, oh no, not the shelf. Does the shelf sit there okay? I think it does. I'll just kind of go like this. Oh 
gosh, this is so close to that door. I don't know if I can handle the shelf there. That just looks odd to me. Oh no, not the welcome shelf. The welcome shelf has to be deleted. Oh gosh. Okay, well, this is a new welcome shelf. We'll put this little box of goodies there. Okay, so it's gonna have to be like that. I know it's not how we wanted it to be, but it's gonna have to be like that. We could also make this gray, which I kind of don't mind because it's less stark. Okay, which means, oh, look at these pipes. These pipes are just going to be kind of put to the side. Oh, but the pipes look kind of cool on a different wall. Let's put it behind the sink because that looks kind of, you know, legit, which we love. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of clothes on the floor in this house, telling you now. Just put some cleaning products next to the toilet, you know, keeping it nice and rustic as we like to. Why would you have a fun basket in a bathroom? What? That's just whack. No, that's very suggestive. I don't agree with that. I have a little medicine cabinet. Honestly, I think what I should do is just stick a toilet roll in here and call it a day. Oh, and I've always wondered why people have um, books in the toilet. So I want to put some books here because I feel like heaps of you guys have books in your toilet. And like when I go to the bathroom, I'm in and out. I don't have time to be reading something like I don't know if it's because I'm lactose intolerant. So there's never any, you know, issues in that department. I just I don't I do not understand. And then you could put like a little kitty picture up there. That'd be nice. We also have vines over the windows, which some of you guys were suggesting we delete. But I kind of like them, so I think I'm going to leave them there. All right, you guys. Well, I might leave this uh, part right here. Let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully this part wasn't too controversial. Um, but yeah, I think this is looking really sweet. Obviously, we have to get to the backyard via this door out this side. But then over here, maybe for this master bedroom. Oh, we could actually make this a kid's room. I kind of was thinking of maybe putting in the laundry day door in just because I love the door because it's kind of old fashioned looking like it looks like it's been here for a long time as part of the house and maybe they've kept it. So I might just put that there. So there's also this way out of the house too. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think and let me know what you would like to happen in the next part. Hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.